These temperatures make me want a hearty meal, <laughs> you know? Something like soup yeah. and, 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 you know, like a French baguette yeah, or something exactly. like that, right? That's yeah. my problem right there is I love mm. the bread. There you go. That's the mm. problem. That'll get you. Hey guys, this is Ooh, exciting. Wow. Yeah. So uh, here's a time lapse video through the day today, and you can see oh. five inches. And I'm telling, they're almost six inches of snow up at Brundage. So that's the evidence of that front that we had last night really looking good. And now that the skies are beginning to, to clear and the clouds are lifting, there's the beautiful mountain with the beautiful lake in the background. And we are seeing some occasional high thin clouds cruising by, but that's about it. So here's our satellite imagery and what looks like a very impressive storm sitting is actually just the next round of moisture that's headed this way, but there is not as much organization to this feature as it looks like on the satellite imagery. Again, it may send us some occasional high clouds tomorrow, but this is also going to be where Friday's storm comes from. Now, it still looks weak for Friday, but I do anticipate at least the possibility of a few showers late in the day Friday, kind of like Friday night into the early morning hours on Saturday. And then after that, what's going to happen is the flow is going to be out of the southwest and the southwesterly flow is going to be a mild flow because the origin of the air is coming in from the southwest. So highs through the weekend are going to be pushing up to near 40 degrees. Then looking ahead into next week, what I'm still seeing is the flow coming in out of the Pacific Ocean like this from the Central Pacific. So that is still a fairly mild flow coming in from the Pacific Ocean. So right now what I'm saying is it doesn't look like we're going to be setting ourselves up for any kind of a significant inversion, which would normally be the case in the wake of some of these fronts that we're getting. 39 degrees outside right now with winds out of the north at about 13 miles per hour makes it feel like it's about 31 degrees outside right now. Here's the future cast and as we look through the day tomorrow, there's the occasional high clouds cruising on by. But all in all, tomorrow is going to be a very nice day with temperature readings right around 39 degrees. Now as we jump ahead to Friday, here's Friday afternoon. We start getting increasing clouds Friday afternoon. And this is the leading edge of the front that's going to be blasting by here Friday night into early Saturday. Again, emphasizing it doesn't look like much of a front right now. So I've got maybe a chance of a few showers late Friday into early Saturday. But if you got plans for the weekend, Right now, it looks like we'll see partly cloudy skies on Saturday with temperature readings near 40 degrees for the high. On Sunday, I'm going to go with increasing clouds. We've got something else that's going to try and move in, but it looks like it's going to be splitting into two pieces. And when that happens, all we end up getting is a bunch of clouds. Tuesday, partly cloudy and partly cloudy on Wednesday. And there's those temperature readings right around 40 degrees. I just don't see any reason to change that forecast. Now for you folks in the Long Valley, for any of you skiers, tomorrow a partly cloudy day looks pretty nice. On Friday, we will see a chance of some snow showers late Friday into early Saturday morning. Cloudy skies on Sunday with maybe a few showers again on Monday, but it doesn't look like a big impressive storm. Maybe a couple of inches here and there between the Friday storm and that Monday storm for our ski resorts, but at least we're steering away from inversion. Yesterday, the models were kind of hinting that we might be going into a giant ridge of high pressure, which would set us up for inversion. But right now, the models today are kind of indicating that next week, the mild Pacific air will keep the atmosphere stirred. That's and that means no inversion for now. Yeah. But no storms either. No giant storms either, yeah. Okay. Coming up on C